So this is a review of the Monoprice Cadet 3D printer, which is a mini 3D printer that's great for beginners, uh, just like me getting into 3D printing for the first time. It's great for kids. My son was using this as well. Uh, this is some extra PLA filament. I'm just going to do a quick review of everything that this has in terms of features and getting some things started. So out of the box to get things started, all you really need is to plug in the power cord, which has the power switch here to turn on the actual 3D printer here itself. Uh, you need to load up the filament. They give you some white filament to get started. And I also got this sample yellow filament here that you can use. Uh, the filament that it uses to print is PLA uh, filament. And this is PLA plus filament that you can see here. Uh, from Monoprice as well, which you can get from their site. Uh, the last thing you need is this. They give you a micro USB uh, a card plus a little reader that you can add stuff into it and the easiest way to print stuff is to use this micro SD card stick it into this slot and then you can actually print from your micro SD card in here so I'll go through some settings to get printed really quickly out of the box so here's the menu knob that you can use to uh, select your menu and you have your info screen, your prepare section. So the very first time that you're setting this up in the prepare section, that's where you're going to auto feed your filament and retract your filament here. So the first time you do this, you do need to use that setting to auto feed the filament. Follow the instructions. It's really easy. And then afterwards in your main menu, you can print from SD card. And these are the three stock G codes that you can print a dragon, an earring, or a fortune cat. So these are some things. Check out this quick video of my son helping print out his very first 3D printed model using this stock setting. All right, here it is. We got the Monoprice Cadet first mission to discovery 3D printer here. And uh, we're going to be doing a review. So here's the reviewer. Kenny, have you ever printed anything in 3D before? No. Yeah. No? Are you excited to get this printer and test it out? Yes. Yes. Alright. Have you ever drawn anything in 3D before to be printed? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright. Let's get to unboxing and see how this is, alright? Hopefully it'll be good to test it out on somebody like Kenny and his dad who has never printed anything in 3D too. So here's us unboxing everything. It was super quick to get everything set up. So once we did, extracted the filament, put in the SD card, and then started the print button. So we have our printing going on here. Uh, this is exciting for me to print something finally in my own house. I was always under the impression that 3D printers were super large. Uh, they used resin. You had to use mass. They were toxic materials. They weren't great for kids. Uh, so this really changed my expectations of doing 3D printing at your house. You can see that I have it safely with my pet cat in the background. My daughter, my son come in to check on this every couple of minutes. Uh, the PLA filament is super easy to use. So I'm really happy that there's this alternative for beginners like myself using a printer like this and getting it set up. So let's check out Kenny's review. All right, Kenny. So you just printed your first 3D model. How was it? It was great. Was it easy or was it hard to set this up? It was hard. How oh, is it hard? <laughs> Just kidding. Easy. Well, what did you have to do? Uh, so, well, I had to close, like, take all stuff out. I also helped with cutting this and cutting it an inch. Mm -hmm. also, and also, also, I just like waited. We did like one hour and 42 minutes. Yeah. And then what did it print? It print this dragon. What do you think of the quality of this 3D printer? Is it pretty cool? Yeah. You made something out of nothing, huh? Mm -hmm. It's also, and this also looks like a dragon with a pig snout. Mm-hmm. All right. So would That's you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs down. Yeah. That's not a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <laughs> Why do you give that like that? Well, one thumb up, one thumb down? How come? Yeah. Why? So, it's kind of actually not looking dragonish because it looks like a dragon pig. Well, we're not talking about the actual print itself. How about the printer? Is it cool or not? Oh. You didn't even design the this dragon. It, it actually is cool. There is a lot of mechanisms in it. Yeah? Even though I don't know what this mechanism means. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a fair and honest review of an eight-year-old kid who didn't even know 
how to make a 3D printer work before. So that was our sample print the first time. Now I'm gonna go into an in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to get things started for yourself. So I'm super brand new to 3D printing, so I wanted to check what software came with this um, setup here. So I plugged in the SD card into my computer and this is what comes up with. So there's a manual, there's a quick reference guide, and a couple of different programs as well as the G-codes for the sample prints that you can make. WeBuilder and Cura are the two programs that you want to install into your computer. They both have different setups, um, but from there it's really easy to set up and download some 3D printing files from a website called Thingiverse. So if you don't know how to 3D print or 3D design stuff, I was actually looking for things on here. So they have tons of stuff that you can already print and find. Uh, the only thing you want to make sure is the 3D print bed size of your MP Cadet is only about four inches wide. Uh, and so that's the only kind of downside that you do have a smaller print bed, but you can still do a lot with that so let's go over what you can do so I have zero 3d design skills so I'm using this website to find useful things for myself to use and arcade one up has a couple of different things that might be handy for you if you're looking to print out small buttons and things one of the more common mods that people are looking at is using those stock power and volume switches to actually make that your start and coin buttons so there's this really simple start select arcade one up mod button that I'm going to be printing. So let's go ahead and click on this and you can download the file from Thingiverse onto your computer. And then we're going to see how we can use the programs to be able to set that up and print on our 3D printer. So I have downloaded that file from Thingiverse onto my desktop. We're just going to extract it onto the desktop as well so that you can see what the file folder looks like. When you open it up, you'll have a couple of different things in terms of the images of what everything looks like in terms of a sample, and then the actual files themselves, which come out as what's called STL files. So right now, Cura is installed on my desktop. So if you open this, the Cura program will open up and be able to show you kind of on your screen the print bed as well as what the object is that you're going to be printing from. From here, you can actually slice it and put it onto your um, micro SD card and then transfer that onto your 3D printer to get everything started. So this is the Cura program. So you can see there's a little sliced model there. Um, so this is a really simple program. Uh, you can kind of see, move it around uh, and look what your model is going to look like before you print it. So you can hit this slice button and it'll process it. And then here, as you can see, that it'll take about 44 minutes. This is how much filament it's going to use, 7 grams. And then uh, you can save it to your removable disk. So if I click on the save button, I now have this MPC button G code, which is the program that you need to be able to print. So uh, that's one way to do this. Uh, I'm going to show you the other program, WeBuilder, where we can optimize the print space and maybe print out a few more buttons at the same time. So the next program from Monoprice is WeBuilder. So I have this installed onto my desktop as well. So this is a, a nice program that's built in from Monoprice and designed to help you map out whatever it is that you're printing. So this is the print bed that you see here. Uh, you can see you can use this with several of their 3D printers that they have. This is the MP Cadet here. So you can see the actual print space is only 100 millimeters, about 4 inches wide and 4 inches tall. So that's one only limitation that you have on here. But again, anything that can fit into this print bed you can print so this is really exciting let's go ahead and open up the files that we had that were on our desktop for that arcade one up button uh, so we're going to open up both of these STL files here and you can see automatically they pop up here so the nice thing about WeBuilder is it gives you a little bit more flexibility to move things around in the print bed so I can see exactly where I want to print if I want to make use of that space and time and so also if I actually copy this I can make a copy of an object Look at that, and I'm gonna make a copy of this object as well. And we're gonna see if we can print both of these at the same time, uh, So, because we need two buttons and two little holders here. So if this fits into our print bed, then we can go ahead and slice this and send this to our 3D printer. So I'm gonna leave this like this. I'm gonna hit this slice button, slicing my objects here. And it just takes a little while, but uh, G-code has been loaded. So look at this, the yellow uh, red area, sorry, not yellow, the red area is what the bottom is going to look like, and this is kind of the lines of what it's going to be printing. Uh, so the G-code has been loaded, uh, that's great, so everything now is saved, so let's save this file onto our uh, drive. So we have our removable disk here, uh, we're going to put this button holder G-code right here, and save it. So now this is here, this is great, the printing file has been saved. Let's move this over to our 3D printer and get this printed. So I've loaded up my SD card in here and then this is the menu where you can select print from SD. 
And here is the NPC button holder G code that we're going to be um, printing in just a second. So, uh, or it's this button holder G code. I think that's the last one that we had. Um, but before we do that, you want to double check your print bed. So this is a sheet. This is just a magnetic flap that's here, and it has kind of this uh, sticky printing, 3D printing sheet that's a little bit sticky. And so, you're, in order for your print to stick, they do give you this glue stick over here, and you want to actually put on a little bit of the glue stick onto this print bed first, so to make sure that your uh, your print sticks on it. So just go ahead and use your glue stick just a little bit here on the surface and this will help kind of prep the surface so that the 3D printer sticks to it. Uh, again, I'm still really new to 3D printing so I've, I've kind of learned that if you don't have this then uh, it can get heated and warped so this is just my quick tip to get everything printed. So we're going to select this G-code and then hit the print button and that's it. Everything's going to get heated and then we'll set this up and show you how it looks like when it's all done. So our printer is going now, but I do want to mention that nothing is ever perfect. I came across a few issues while I was printing a couple different items. Uh, one time the nozzle moved the magnetic bed and then it moved and shifted it and so my print also got messed up at the beginning, but I caught it early enough while I was able to reset it and make it work fine. A couple other times I wasn't using the glue stick early on and it wasn't sticking to the bed surface on the bottom, so the bed does get a little bit warm and so if you're heating it up and it's not sticking, then the actual piece can move and then it's going to cause an error halfway through your print. So you definitely want to pay attention to that. Um, that's the only thing that I, I didn't really like was there wasn't instructions on how to set that up appropriately from the beginning. I had to use some trial and error to set it up. But once I figured out how to get everything set up at the beginning, uh, then I was able to print uh, without any issues. So hopefully that helps in terms of some tips. So that print took just a little over two hours and this is the final product. So as see, uh, this is all done now and all we need to do now is just lift this up off the magnetic plate you can see it's beautifully printed. Look at that, no errors or anything. And we just need to peel back a little bit from here and then it'll pop straight off. So this is beautiful. Oh, wow, that's really loose too. But look, so this is just the bottom part, but <laughs> this just kind of pops right off uh, once you start peeling it back. So we got our two buttons for the arcade one up. So this is a really cool um, you know, mini printer for small little projects like this. Uh, great quality. The PLA plastic on this feels fantastic. So this is a great printer. Um, I've seen other printers that have a lot of errors when they're print, but as long as you have your bed set up right with this paper and the print size is perfect, this is super high quality plastic. I can't even tell that it was 3D printed. I mean, you can look closely, you can see some of the lines on it, uh, but I'm super stoked about having this printer. I highly recommend it. Um, so I wanna show off some of the other things that I printed too. Here are some of the other 3D prints that I made using the MP Cadet. So uh, it's really fantastic for some of these small projects. There's this cool little Pac-Man uh, chaser figure that I got uh, printed. And uh, you can see it's super high quality. Uh, really fun to build little projects on your own. Um, this is the stock Dragon G-Code figure that came with it. Thought it was really cute to kind of test it out and see how it works. Um, but you can do anything you want to. Sky's the limit if you have the skills to design something or there's so many um, you know, available 3D printed uh, files that you can use this Model Press Cadet for. So I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a super great build for 250 bucks. It's really reasonable. A great entry level 3D printer into uh, working uh, in this space. It has some great files that you saw that you can download and get everything working. Um, so I would highly recommend it. This is a really great mini machine. I'm going to have some fun printing out some more things and again it's great for kids my son was really into it when he first started printing stuff um, so hopefully i can get him more into it hope you guys enjoyed